your partner your attire. I think it looks really cute. I wanted to show you guys. I'm nice and pink and popping early in the morning. So here's the thing, right? And I untwisted my hair. You know, it's a little wild, but it's cute wild, you know? So here's the thing too. I don't ever wear my glasses to the gym, but I'm having issues with my contacts. I don't know if something happened. I'm trying to put one in and it hurt. So we're not doing that. If it's not comfortable, it is what it is. We just gonna make it work. So I'm wearing my I'm wearing my glasses to the gym for the first time. So it is what it is. This is who I am. This is a part of me. I don't like wearing my glasses outside normally because I'm blind. I'm not blind, but my glasses are thick. Um, and they make my eyes look smaller. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what we're doing. And I usually fill in my eyebrows to go to the gym. At five, listen, at five something in the morning, I'm good. I'm just gonna go and be uh, unapologetically me. And that's okay. It is what it is. I'm gonna go get this workout in. So last night, let me tell you guys, I was working on something and I got a little sidetracked. So I did not have time to really pull together the plan that I wanna work on strategically. So I'm just gonna go today and do whatever, whatever soothes my soul. And then tonight, when I um, later, like before I go to bed, I'm gonna put a plan together for the rest of the week. So I'll keep you guys posted. Happy Monday. Good morning, guys. It is 5.51. So my alarm went off at five. I snoozed a couple times, I'm not gonna lie. So my alarm, it snoozes for, um, it snoozes for eight minutes. I have on an eight minute snooze. So the first snooze I slept, the second snooze I just sat there and kinda meditated a little bit to get my day started. I always start my day off praying and meditating. Um, listening, reading, listening to the Bible app as I get ready. And so I did that. And like I said, the gym is like 10 minutes away, so it's not gonna hurt to get there by six. If I can get like an hour and a half in and then get 10 minutes on the massage chair, I'm good. I'll be home by before eight and that'll give me time to take a quick shower um, and be ready for my first meeting at 8.20. So, I'm good. I'm grateful that, excuse me, got a lot going on. I'm grateful that there's some flexibility in my schedule in terms of working from home, the proximity of the gym. Um, and um, yeah, that's about it. Like, so, although I said I was gonna leave the house at 5.30, this is good too. Like, if I get there by six, I still have a light, like a good window to really get a great workout in and everything was prepared last night. So I'm all good to go. Um, so I will share with you guys, probably I'll, what I'll do is I'll verbally tell you, we'll see how it goes in terms of if I record anything. I have like this little stand that I want to start bringing with me. I just keep forgetting to put it in my, my, my fanny pack, but it's like a little mini stand for my phone. And I think that would help with the videos and stuff at the gym. And I don't know how crowded it's going to be today. So we'll play it by ear. I'll try to get some footage in so you can see what I'm working on and what I'm doing. But moving forward, because it was a request um, in my comments that um, there was interest in me posting what workouts I'm doing. So I'm going to intentionally try to work on that. So if I don't get the videos in, I'll just show you guys in terms of when I write down my schedule, my plan, what I plan on doing. And as I can record for some motivation for those that are looking to go to the gym, haven't been going as consistently and want some inspiration, um, I will be posting videos as, as I have time to. So in the morning, I don't know, it might be a little bit different for me as well because it's like a clock, a race to the finish line and get done so I can get home. But if I get up early enough and I'm here early enough and I have time, I will certainly be recording. How my glasses look, y'all? I don't like wearing my glasses. I feel like I, I look different, but we're here. We're embracing this. We're embracing all of us, including the things that make us feel uncomfortable. And we're gonna keep going. So I just wanna wish you guys a wonderful day. A happy Monday. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I had a great weekend. I hope you did too. And we will touch base a little bit later. So FYI, I ended up, I didn't have time to post last night. I just was so busy trying to knock some things out and go to bed early. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog on a daily. We'll see how it goes. And in terms of workouts, I 
I, so far right now, I have committed to going to the gym in the morning, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then getting some type of physical activity in Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday may look like water aerobics, or it might look like going to the gym, and Sunday might be a walk. So I don't know yet. I, I'm committing to five active days with three intentional early morning sessions at the gym. So this is, I'm saying it out loud to hold myself accountable. If I opt to go early morning more days, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, that's, that's optional. So, just um, posting this for accountability. All right, guys, have a great day. We will touch base later. I used the Smith machine and did upper body. I'll be posting what I did. And here's a challenge for me because I don't even know what you call what I do. So this is gonna be helpful for me to actually learn what I'm doing and know the lingo and know what it's called and know what benefits it provides. So I gotta do some homework to help myself too and to give you the information. So thank you for the push because I just do stuff and say, oh, I did that machine, I did this. And I describe what I do versus knowing what the, the activity is actually called. So, um, and now I'm on the arm trainer. Gonna be here a total of 30 minutes. I am already at 27. So I'm getting three more minutes in. And I'm gonna stretch, I like the stretch machine. I told you guys about it before, I don't know what it's called. So I'll show you it. And I'll also learn what it's called because I need to know. All right, I'll touch base with you guys later. But good workout. The sun is out now. Very proud of myself for getting up. I didn't go to bed when I wanted to because I ended up working on something later than I expected. So I went to bed at 11, maybe 11.15 instead of at 10 like I wanted to. But I still got up and I still made it. So I think it's important to set goals and when you actually achieve them it makes you feel so much better about yourself so if you show up for yourself helps with your self-confidence for sure all right guys touch base later all right guys so it's called the free four and it does many stretches so i'm gonna go ahead and do all the 58 stretches for about 20 to 30 minutes. So, is it called now? It's called on a stretch trainer or the free core. I don't know. And just as an FYI, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do the stretches. Okay, guys, I am all done. I had a really great workout. I got the massage chair in. I feel amazing. So on my way home, it's 7.37 right now, which is pretty good. It'll take me about eight minutes to get home. And then I'll give me like a good 30 minutes, a little bit more than 30 minutes to take a shower and get dressed. So I'll be ready to go to work. Hopefully I can make some tea before I have a busy day today. So anyway, so I listened to this podcast. I don't know if you guys know or have heard about Re Rebecca Lynn Pope. But Rebecca Lynn Pope is a, a master certified life and relationship coach. She has like business courses, relationship courses. Um, I enjoy her and her and her husband, they have like, um, it's called Abundant Life Ministry. So I haven't seen a new um, episode or sermon in a while, but they used to have sermons on Sunday, motivational sermons, um, just talking about God and 
different parts of faith and things of that nature they're very inspirational and motivational and her story is phenomenal but anyway so today's um episode video i watched from her for youtube was these people drive me crazy so ignore me but it was on how to boss up and level up and one of the things that she encouraged you to do is you guys can't even see me ignore this one of the things she encouraged us to do is to get an i am affirmation and speak it to yourself all day every day um according to the video statistics show that 85 to 90 percent of people are not healed and are not working on their healing so the 15 to 10 10 to 15 percent of us are actually actively working and healing so you're more like more than likely to encounter a lot of negative people in the world than positive people and that may be why sometimes because i feel this way sometimes i feel like people that are around me like physically around me they don't get me they don't understand me they get annoyed by my energy and I feel like it's because they're not healing, they're not doing the work. But that's that's a whole other story, not, not my ministry. Anyway, um, I did want to say that um, in terms of the I am affirmation. So she said, get an I am affirmation and um, repeat it to yourself all throughout your day. So it strengthens you. So I'm thinking, I was trying to think of what my affirmation would be. And I feel like I would say I am victorious. So I'm gonna say that to myself all day today. So when I'm having a moment at work, work's gonna be interesting because Friday wasn't the greatest. So I already know today is gonna be a whole extension of Friday. And it's gonna be like that for a while because there's some shifts and changes that I've had to make So at work. But anyway, um, I am victorious that's going to be my I am affirmation. Do you have um, an I am? Can you think of something for you in terms of an I am affirmation that you can say to yourself when you're having bad moments, when you're feeling insecure, when you're feeling sad, lonely, or whatever you have going on? Think of something. Try to come up with something for you to chant to yourself in your mind, in front of your mirror, before you go to bed, whenever you're having a bad moment throughout the day. What can you say about yourself? There were some examples like I am, what did they say? I, I'm a conqueror, I am strong, I am the bomb, I am amazing. There were so many good ones. For me, I am victorious resonated with me because you know, we fight, we push to be better and we fight all of these outlying factors and all the while we have to work on our mental health and make sure we're in a positive mind space to function so that one resonated with me so i will be chanting that in my head all day today that might be my uh i am affirmation of the week of the month of the year i don't know my um my phrase for well my word for 2023 is encapsulate and me and my sister like we kind of use encapsulate um to keep our sanity so for me encapsulate with that word like means i am going to protect my peace and my energy and my spirit at all costs you know i'm not going to allow any outlying factors that i have no control over to affect my spirit my energy because that's going to affect my purpose and why i am here so just sharing my word of the year but an affirmation right now and i may change it i don't know but this is just what i was i was trying to come up with one while i was working out and i'm gonna stick with that one for now so for right now it is i am victorious so what is your i am affirmation drop it in the comments let me know let's chat about it all right guys i am about to about to be home in a minute so let me get off here and get myself together for work. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great Monday. All right, guys, so a few things are going on right now. Let me give you the rundown. So, T, yep, I decided I'm gonna have the Sama. Focus and clarity, no caffeine, mint blueberry. This was really good last week. I'm gonna have another busy work day. So, the tea bag exploded in the pack. So, I remembered that Lisa told me that this was for loose tea. So, guess what? Problem solved. So, we're gonna put all the tea in here and steep it that way we don't waste it because this is really good tea we don't want to just throw the sachet away right so perfect i appreciate knowing that this is what it's for 
sad, sad story, sad, sad story, guys. Let me tell you guys. Last week, when I was feeling all week and going, you know, through my women things, I dropped my cup and this happened. I'm so sad. I got, I have Gorilla Glue in my car and I've been meaning to take it out, but I'm definitely going to glue this together and it'll just be a fragmented top, but we're not throwing it out. I'm definitely going to pull it back together. So anyway, tea is steeping. This is tea for this morning. I've had my vitamins already. I'll touch base with you guys later. All right, look guys. All of the loose tea. I'm so excited. I didn't know what this was for. <laughs> so Lisa, I appreciate you letting me know what it's for. It was perfect. Yep. All right, guys. Bye. Hey, crew. So I was watching Lisa's walk with me this morning, and she mentioned this acai bowl. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have acai, but I'm going to make me a fruit bowl. So thanks, Lisa. I appreciate the, the push. It takes some work to put it together, but see, I'm blessed. I can work from home and on my break, I can just make me a bowl. Okay, so here's what we have. I have fruit explosion. That includes strawberries, mangoes, and peaches. I'm gonna have some blue, frozen blueberries. These are all frozen. And then frozen pineapple chunks. And then I have half of a frozen banana. So I'm gonna put all of those in. Oh, with some spinach. I didn't pull that out. With some spinach and make my base for my frozen fruit smoothie bowl. Then I had a banana. It's not in the best shape, but it needs to go. So I cut half of it up, has some strawberries and kiwi. So those are gonna be the fresh fruits that are gonna go on top of my frozen fruits. And then I'm gonna have some granola. The granola was really good on it. All right, so this will be my breakfast. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so we're about to blend it up. guys so this one isn't as thick as the last one i think i used less blueberries and a lot more spinach and it's a little soupier because i may have added more water but it, it tastes really good i tried it it was overflowing a little bit but we have our strawberries our kiwi our bananas and our granola so i'm so excited at least thanks for the recommendation all right i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and enjoy this i'll talk to you guys later okay so i'm making lunch i'm gonna use i had this yesterday too a flour tortilla these are 140 calories they're old like i just want to get rid of them so that's why we're using them i wanted to use my little carb balance whole wheat ones but no so you have four pepperonis four salami and yesterday i had some shredded triple cheddar i'm going to use the provolone today i cut one in half and i'm going to melt this in the microwave for about 40 40 seconds and then i'll show you my add-on Okay, so let's talk about my topping. So it came out really melty and wonderful looking. So I added some vegan mayo. I added some lettuce, uh, sorry, leafy green homemade lettuce. And I added some of the Northern Italian with basil romano as like a sauciness kind of situation. I'm very excited. Um, I purchased these two on Saturday. Zima golden gray tomatoes. So I cut them in half and I'm just gonna pour them on my sandwich, my wrap. And here's my sliced apple pear. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my, my plate together now. Okay guys, so we are gonna try these apple pears. It's full of flavor and sweetness. I've never tried this. Let me know if you've tried one before. So they're pretty big and I don't really know what constitutes a uh, ready. I should Google it, but I'm not. I'm just gonna wash this and then cut it in half and then slice it and put it on my plate. So it actually looks like an apple and a pear combo. This is a hybrid. I don't know, I guess they made them, but okay. I'm gonna cut it into slices and put it on my plate. Okay guys, so I am finally trying the peach pineapple salsa. So I took a little spoonful and it tasted pretty good. It's a little sweet, so I'm not gonna put too much on it. I was gonna make fish tacos. I bought these um, frozen catfish nuggets. And I don't know, like I have been having issues with meat lately. Some meat, I don't know, it depends on what it looks like. Cause I bought some, what are they, Wagyu burgers, beef burgers, and they looked pretty good when I was cooking them. So I'm gonna, I chopped, anyway, I chopped half of a burger up 
and made a taco with avocado, some of the triple cheddar cheese, some like slices of those yellow tomatoes I purchased, and um, some romaine lettuce, and a little bit of the salsa on top, and then I have a salad with the same romaine lettuce, red onions, the yellow tomatoes, cucumbers, and then I added some of the Bolt House Farms ranch dip. So this is dinner. I'll let you guys know how the, the quote unquote taco tastes. I'm a little disappointed. I really wanted a fish taco, but I don't know. So it, they don't look, the fish looks weird. So I have to probably go to the fresh fish market. I, I usually don't buy frozen fish, but I ordered it on an Instacart and it's been in my freezer and I opened it today and I was like, mm, not for me. So I need fresh fish. So we pivot. So this is dinner. Hey crew, guess what? I'm trying something new. So um, these were on sale. It was all of the 70 calorie fiber one bars. It was, I don't remember how much it was, but you had, oh, so it was buy four. You get them for $1.99 a piece, but it regular, regular price is I think $2.99 or three, I think maybe $3.49, but if they were on sale for, $2.99 so you could get one for $2.99 or you could get four for eight dollars right so I got four I got two for me and two for my son so I got the chocolate chip ones and then I have soft baked bars cinnamon coffee cake so you guys I'm excited I'm gonna get one of these I'm gonna crumble it up and I am going to add it to the this is less sugar, Greek Chobani, Madagascar vanilla and cinnamon. I think it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal.